Kamionets Podilsky Fortress is one of the oldest in Ukraine. This monument is the residents' pride and joy. While the Ukrainians are deeply attached to their history and their heritage, there are vestiges of the past that they would happily see consigned to the flames. Along with the withdrawal of Soviet forces from other countries of the Warsaw Pact, a huge amount of weapons and ammunition were withdrawn from these countries. Most of them were stored in the Ukraine. It is estimated that there are 7 million small arms and light weapons in Ukraine, and that 2 million tons of ammunition is stored in depots. In 2006, there was an explosion at a depot in the south of Ukraine. There were no casualties, but another accident cannot be ruled out at any time. People living in the Ukraine are anxious. People around are afraid of this extra ammunition. We know that a lot of unserviceable weapons are in our country. It's awful to live in a country when you know how many old weapons and ammunition are kept in the military base. So that Ukraine can eliminate these military leftovers, NATO has been providing help for some years by means of a trust fund. This programme aims to destroy stockpiles of surplus and obsolete landmines, weapons and munitions in the partner countries of the Euro-Atlantic area. Ukraine, with NATO's support, decides how much to dispose of. Ammunition in small arms should be in appropriate quantities. Above those, quantities are considered to be extra and should be destroyed as not needed. The program involves local industries, such as the plant in Rechani, western Ukraine. This plant was set up just next to the ammunition storage facility, as they have to be moved with great care. Infrastructure existed before the program started. Thanks to the NATO Trust Fund managed by NSPA, the NATO Support Agency, productivity has increased substantially. Today, the plant can destroy up to 50 tonnes of ammunition per day. Thanks to NATO Trust Funds, we have increased the possibility to improve, to modernise our equipment and our technologies. The staff are focused on their work. They have to handle the ammunition carefully. Most of them are filled with explosives. In these shells, there are explosives. So in the case of a shell exploding, it will greatly harm many personnel. The employees are selected because of their reliability and vigilance. Each stage is controlled and strictly regulated. Vigilance is also essential at Kamionets Podilsky, south of Rachani, where the personnel in this plant destroy small arms and light weapons. We destroy all types of weapons, pistols, machine guns, carbon and all others. We even have some weapons from the early 1900s, very old ones from the time of the Tsars. The weapons, mostly Kalashnikovs, are dismantled. The wood is separated from the metal and the metal part is melted down. This is what remains of the weapons after the process. There is no waste and no environmental pollution. The metal will be sold to local businesses and the wood will be salvaged. We use the wooden part for the heating system to warm that big workshop. The programme has a major impact on the local economy. It supports people in industries, having created more than 100 jobs. This is a NATO Channel report.